A goddamn emulator doesn't have consistent volume. And thank god I remember that. Oof. So every time I start it, it's on maximum volume. It, it blasts us in that into the... Ba -ba 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 -ba. And the first couple of times I was recording, I was just... Ah! God! Jesus! Because... Holy crap, it's loud. Oh boy! Anyway. You gotta watch the midnight channel. You could hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. The soul might appear as if you look into TV at the rainy night. Could she story be true? It's not, but something is gonna happen regardless. I wonder how many animated cutscenes are in this game. <laughs> Maybe you can have the full fledged anime in here. Oh no, Senpai! He's gonna be dead! I totally didn't see that coming! I really wish subtitles wasn't was an option. Because it's goddamn impossible to hear anything. Well, they're not talking now, so there's that. You can actually get, to, get into a tree. Interesting pose. Nanako? Are you okay? Yep. I'm okay. Kinda. Okay. Nice. She didn't catch up. Cut. Oh. Cut. Dead. Good night. She didn't figure it out. Is the point. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? You decided to talk about it with Avis tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so let's not investigate the creepy TV thing. By all means, ignore it. Till tomorrow. Sheesh. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. Look at her freaking head. Look at this thing. Turns out that's actually her normal head gear thing. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofuya, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look uh, for lost items. I don't know what dowser is. For lost items. And there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past, and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ha 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 ha. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. A transferee, Mr. Schmo, please stand up. Alright, what you want? When did AD, in our words, Anna Domini, begin? There we go. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. Before Christ, or years before Christ was born. This is, of course, the way we count our years today, but it wasn't ac adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. Ha 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 ha! It was around that time that there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anyhow, all those beliefs have been in an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. 
but regardless of a culture or tradition, what I decide is who will survive in the present and the future. Oh god, I'm getting tired of this voice. And most survivors ensure what their will is passed down to the next generation. But now, uh, now it's the time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of our uh, civilization. Uh, you gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, good. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. It's kind of execution is upside down. Oh wait, yeah, there's uh, I know there's a midnight uh, midnight uh, medieval execution where the person is hung upside down, a saw is placed between their legs, and it's sewing them down. You know, from between their legs, in the <coughs> up to their head, and they are upside down so they don't. Uh, bleed out of <laughs> so we still get the the blood in their head if they are a normal way up that uh, they will bleed out much faster so they won't suffer as much so there's that way of execution but <coughs> yeah I don't think we know about this and I'll just complain about how we, uh, that's the wrong way my senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body She's gonna be dead too. Y yo, um, what's up? It's a, uh, it's not really that important, but what? Well, yesterday on TV, I uh... so psyche. I know. Come on, spit it out, man. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> All right. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. You know, Yukiko is spending a long damn time doing something to her bag. Now there we go. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. She's gonna her score herself a hot stud. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? It's just you. I guess they're running her ragged. <gasps> By the way, did you see it last night? Yeah. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? It means bouch kabow bow. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform and Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? I don't even get an option. Hmm. You told them about what happened last night. TV ate me. It sounds like we all saw the same person. What about the TV? I'm not concerned about that. Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Yeah, that. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. <laughs> well, if it had been bigger, then. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, 
Definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What? <laughs> She's such a nerd. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> we don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Juness with us. Juness Electronics Department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? Rich people. I don't know. Rich folks? Exactly. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying, man, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. So what you saying you don't have clerks around? And probably security's pretty light. Hmm. When do you close again? Nope, can't get in. Figures. Well, you can't, but I didn't try. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chie, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? Well, that's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. Yeah, but surely narrowed it down. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. Yeah, let's get free shit from him, beat him up, and then ask for more free shit. Well done, Chi. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Does wait, does it label at the bottom says moo? Can I can I hide the text? Hold up. Yeah, the save is to the left. Moo <laughs> Hey guys. Oh yeah. What kind of TV do you hmm. Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? So he, so he finally noticed. Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> yeah, it's a new function. You can punch through your TV. You know, sometimes the news get news get you down so much, you just wanna sort of punch them in the face. Hell no! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Hell if I know. Both of them are staring at you, astonished. Might be able to put in more than just your arm. Well, like I said, you can't get in, but I can. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Getting in. By the way, it's weird how nobody checked behind the TV. There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? What, what, what do you mean empty space? I mean space, which is, as it happens, empty. It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean spacious? I mean, the space is very empty and spacious. I mean, what's going on? Old crap. 
I think this is all too much for my bladder. You pussy. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. That's really unhealthy, dude. I can't hold it anymore. Just don't do it on TV, okay? I don't think I'm stuck, actually. I don't have my hand in there. What, what are we gonna do? You idiots. Wait! Whoa! Yep. The very to blame to, for everything. Seriously, I wasn't stuck. I just got my head in there. Can them idiots. Well, free dead people. Now they're alive. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Is that some place inside Janice? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Okay, the main character is like a robot. He just turns and looks looks at him and then looks away. My dog has more character than him. Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? Where are we? Are you guys okay? Is this a dream? Your understanding has increased. You know, falling through such a height with such a crack. Someone definitely died. I think my butt's cracked now. Mm hmm. Yep, exactly. Of course it is. <laughs> Whoa. What a big butt? What, what now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. It looks like a stage. Are they performing? Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or is it smoke? I think you'll be able to tell if it's smoke. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Maybe in the basement. But man, this place is huge. A big basement. What are we gonna do? Let's look around, let's go home. Let's look around. But what? Look, we need to get home and. Now, why do you think I want to look around? Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Up. I don't see a way in or out. That's why you should look around. What? That can't be right. How could that be? Because you fell. I don't know. Don't ask me. Yeah, our friends covered in fuck. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. So let's look around for an exit. Okay, so how? Let's look around and find the exit. So calm down. Let's look for a way out. We're doomed. Let's look for a, for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Yeah, like I said. Let's calm down and think about this. Well, I'm calm. I'm a robot. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Oh, that's true, but if there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers and look around. Like I said... That looks suspicious. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? 
From what? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but it seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. You you can also choose to go back. There's that. Seems such an seems like such a nice little bedroom. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Seriously, you tried on it now? Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Nice little place. <gasps> what the Until you turn around. It's a dead end! There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Can't hold it any longer. Just go in the corner, man. Jeez. My bladder's gonna explode. Just go in the corner. Yosuke, what are you doing? The corner, you dumbass. Not in the middle of a wall. God. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. Then go in the corner. It's right there. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. What? You mind? D do you leave here? Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching. I'm staring. I'm staring very, very hard. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. I told you to go in the corner. Like I care. <sighs> yeah, asking for more free shit after that. What's with this room? How do we know? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Saying a singer, by the way. Ooh. Fascinating. Dude. This chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. Maybe they're just hanging flowers. <laughs> it's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Light flowers. Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, let's go and let him be in the corner. Jeez. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Yeah, you did. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And... I'm not feeling so good. Neither does he, but it's not like you care. Now that you mention it, me too. Of course you do. Your bladder. Your body does feel heavy. Could be due to his place aggressive atmos oppressive atmosphere. Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Well you should have peed in the corner, buddy. You would feel better immediately. Whew. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just me. There's something over there. Yes, boys and girls. How are you doing? this thing? A monkey? A bear? Looks more like a clown to me, honestly. But it's supposed to be a bear. What in the world? It's supposed to be a bear. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? I should have had Monokuma's theme on cue. <gasps> it talked! Uh, what are you? You, you want to fight? Yeah, you want for dumb punk? Huh? Me like that. The bear is covered in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What are you? 
What is this place? What are you? I don't understand. I'm a bear. Can't you tell? No. Nope. I live here by myself. I cannot tell what <laughs> what you are. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. Could have come up the one. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. How? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? He's talking about someone throwing people in. I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? He wasn't yelling, unlike you. What are you? Where are we? Jeez, don't flip out like that on him. He didn't do anything wrong. Yet. What the heck's going on here? Yeah, hide behind me. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. How? What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Ah, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. And he tell you to shut the fuck up, and he's gonna let you out. Wait, what? What the hell? I wish I could stomp on the ground and TVs would appear. That would make so much money in electronics. But where did these TVs come from? Magic. <laughs> Now go, go, get out of here! I'm a busy bear! By the way, wasn't that the size of a TV you couldn't fit into before? What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what, what are you doing? Oh no, he's coming at us from behind. Stop pushing! Well, the bear had some snuggle struggle with us. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? It seems so. We're still moved to the left. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Hmm, no ages, huh? They could have brought someone of all ages. Crap, it's already that late? How late? It's not like we said what time it is. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. I remember where I saw that poster before. Yeah, to right. Over there. That's the poster we saw. Yep. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. The angst. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean? She's a killer. Weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. It was just a scarf. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. You're the one talking about this, buddy. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. I'm fine. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Can I go with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm creepy. <laughs> ah, damn, I ruined things. Oh, he's home. Nice. Hey, welcome home. Can I get some? 
you still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. What? But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? In fact, I have. She just got a buddy. People feel sorry for her. She wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. I wish there was an option. Yes, I have. And tell everything you know about her. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. She's dead. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. You should look up on telephone poles. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. The inn that Yukiko's, Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. That is very relevant to this discussion. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. A bit early, but whatever. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. I'm not the only creep here. Uh, I see. <laughs> Moving along, it's time for the weather report. I love that icy reaction. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before my announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by, well, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Asaki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Give it some more time. Can I get ramen too? <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Or ramen. It was just a small sneeze. Come on, guys. You should get to bed after you take it. Or I could just eat. I, I'm seriously... How long have I, have I been stuck on the TV? And then I come back, I don't even get to eat. Dude, this is a lot more unhealthy than... Uh, than taking the medicine and going to sleep. I should eat. Come on. Okay, nobody cares. Sheesh. Yo. People who are sick should stay in bed. It's fuck today, so you should go to sleep early, or you'll catch a cold. Alright. You asked Tanaka for permission and change the channel to a forecast. So it's raining for two more days. Rain may stop from late night until early morning. Alright. Where is he? Oh, yo. yo. Should go straight to bed tonight. Spring cold can be, co can be tough. Anything in the fridge? Fried rice, maybe? Damn, I just want some fried rice, guys. Come on. Just give me that fried rice. Your body feels heavy. It would be best if you went to bed early tonight. Sleep. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, they should have had music from Drunk and Drunk and Drunk already. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. 
Yeah, that didn't take long. Hey, I didn't even press anything. He closed it himself. Damn. Screw you, game. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Okay. Nanaka looks worried. Oh, no wonder. Will she be fine on her own? Well, I guess she will be. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Yeah, such disappointment. I wanted them to bring so many dead bodies. That would be interesting. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Yeah, you sickos. You hear sirens nearby. Seems there has been an accident. Incident, whatever. You decide to head to school. Is that gonna be an asshole? The asshole. Nope. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You ever hear people gossiping about something? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. That guy kind of standing behind the main character is really weird. Look at his back. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Did you see this? She actually wears that outside. It's like that's her normal headwear. First, the principal has something to say. Is Gandalf a principal? No, shall not pass. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Oh my God, is this Skeletor? One of our third-year students. Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3 <coughs> has passed away. <coughs> passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. I know you did, did it, Skeletor. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. Human is coming for you. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. Alright, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. That must have been some hardcore bullying to end up killing. So, hmm. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal address continues. Or does it? Since the screen goes black, we can't actually tell. Damn, I wish I could investigate murders. And the bear would be... Push it as a head uh, along. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. What other th weird things will he use to hang people? Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci fi drama. Well, small rural town, it's not like you can find out every single poison out there. Maybe you just don't have a lab to test it, so... <clears throat> you know. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. 
Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. That's surprisingly reasonable. Sheesh, it's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. No, 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 it's not the Skeletor, man. I know it. Skeletor killed her. <laughs> but she's right. That's also surprisingly reasonable. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Did I? I don't remember. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. Yup. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then... She disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe... Just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Let's go into the TV. Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Uh. Just go into the TV, guys. Come on, what else do you have going on? Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Hmm, something. I think there's a bit more than something. Well, what do you think? Oh, you actually care what I think? Or are you just gonna talk at me? You might be right. That's preposterous. Then you think it's all a coincidence? No, I don't, but I wanted to see what happens if I say that. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me... Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Well, good luck going in. Let's see how you try without me, bitch. D d don't do this. You should just let the police handle this, and... By the way, I remember someone saying their poor heart can't handle it and trying to forget all about this. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Well, telling them stuff would help, I guess. But no, who cares about the police? It's not like we're trying to do their fucking job. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. You don't know for sure. If I'm completely off base with this... That's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Oh, Yosuke... After what I've seen, and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I don't get a choice, as always. Yeah, he just keeps talking at me, like, oh, yeah, sure. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. Kinda, he was close to her. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Mm, well, we'll just have to beat Teddy up. What should we do? Beat Teddy up. Go, Yosuke, stop Yosuke. Let's see what happens if I choose this. Wait, uh, me? 
is so surprised by this. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. What a pushover. They can just say no. What the hell is he gonna do without me? <laughs> that little bitch. Nice lady, buddy. You guys came. It's actually a golf club, by the way. But it totally looks like a ladle. We came to stop you, idiot. Not me. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. Seriously, you see this? Everyone is making decisions for me. I don't get I don't get to say anything. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Oh, you will. Maybe isn't good enough. No, it is. Look. I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. By the way, rope is a great idea. I actually had it at first, but I forgot to say it. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I sure can. <laughs> this, will, this doesn't involve me. I'm worried about she. Yeah, let's go with that. There's no telling what may happen over there. You waste your concern over Chia coming along. Oh, I get the stat boost. Ooh, nice. Last time I didn't get that. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. The rope is gonna snap. Huh? What's that? A, a rope? It's totally gonna snap. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. Of course, I'll stay to him, but not me. Who cares about me? Sheesh. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Uh also, it's too short to be enough. Here, this is for you. All right, let's eat some soup. Obtained golf club. Obtained medicine. I don't see him hanging medicine. I it might be better than going in empty-handed. Hands in me medicine. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. I would immediately drop it. Hey, I said wait! Who cares? Jeez. Everyone just talks at everyone there. Eh, we're gonna do whatever we want and push you on. Sheesh. Like, seriously, nobody gets a, uh, a say in anything. Like, do I get a say in this? No? I just have to drag him alone. And it snaps. And it snaps. And it snaps. And it snaps. There we go. See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Well you didn't. You had to try. Now what? Now you pray. Because you just lost two friends. They're gonna come back. Come on, jeez. Still surprised how you didn't snap your neck falling. It's actually very easy to snap your neck. Is this if you just fall, unfortunately. Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? We're looking for a killer. And you aren't gonna stop us. I get it. You're the ones behind this! Yes, you got me. I am a killer. You're that thing from last time. Yes, it's Monokuma. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. Well, I've been forced here by that asshole. That means you're the most suspicious. <gasps> Genius deduction. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Oh no, don't throw at me. Hell no. Oh hell no. Don't label us like that. Shut up, bitch. Oh hell no. What are you talking about throwing people in? 
If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Hmm, they couldn't get out. <clears throat> someone could have helped them. Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? No, you actually care what I think? You're not gonna just decide for me? Was me accidentally falling? Dude, I don't know, man. I can't say for sure either. Also, isn't it easier to just kill them instead of throwing them in here? Doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? You know you're talking right in front of him, right? Let's assume he's telling the truth. You know you're talking right in front of him, right? You you're still in front of him. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? Dude, just killing them is easier. If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? Mumbling? It's not like I can talk. It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Well, you could have helped other people too, but... Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Well, look at this. A woman who doesn't know any better. What are the odds? What? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> oh, so intimidating. I'm the one who wants to investigate. Who's been stopping you, buddy? lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. How exactly? It doesn't work that way. Shut up, bitch. It... Uh, uh, I think it shows proof last time. Let's go with shut up. See? So it is, you guys. Uh, he reacted the same way last time. The last time, it's not <sighs> us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Should I should save state last the next time I get a choice? Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Also, should figure out how to rebind the controls so it's actually sensible buttons, because I still don't know what hotkeys are used for save states. It's only supposed F supposed to be F5 and F9. But some fucking idiot, every freaking program changes it. Why? Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. By the way, you never explained what shadows exactly are. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. <laughs> yeah, that's totally gonna stop the murder. Hey, you! Stop killing people. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can just imagine. Uh, God, what's his name? Jason from the, the Friday the Fourteenth. Is that it? Or Halloween? You know, with a hockey mask. He's just going around, throw, uh, just killing people. And then someone walks up to him and is like, You, stop it! And he's like, oh, fuck. And just walks away. <laughs> yeah, but that's totally gonna change everything, buddy. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I am. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying that you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. <laughs> And this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? 
Bow chicka bow bow. <laughs> I mean, look at the floor. Maybe it is. Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? What kind of weird show are you watching? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. It's always been like this. Oh, uh, hold up. Uh, okay, save. Always been like this. What do you mean? Run that baby me again. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Okay. We don't know what the shadow things load. are, or what you are either, for that matter. Uh huh. What do you mean? Only me and shadows are here. Again, same thing. All right. Let's we check the third option. Shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. Noink. Always been like this. Yeah, exactly the same. Here. I told you before. It's the same thing, regardless of what you choose. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. <sighs> Wanna come and kill on things, but that would break the rules. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. <laughs> Whoa! You should have used the zipper. What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. That was surprisingly agile. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. That didn't take much convincing. But, I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll have to do it. Promise me, or else. <gasps> no, or else. No. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Well, uh, we'll just fuck, have to fuck you up. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... <laughs> <laughs> so intimidating. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bearer is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If a culprit isn't you, he wants to find he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? Stuff. Investigate, jeez, you forgot what we came here for? You remember the words of a mysterious old man who called himself Igor? Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. It doesn't seem that great. Could this be the mystery what will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Tigger spoke of? Persona, probably. Who finds in the culprit and solving the case being part of this promise. In any case, since you can't leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. Ah, stop your whining. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. 
I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy. Very imaginative. <laughs> Figures. Exactly. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? How uh, would well, you know? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Some glasses. And I still don't know how he made them. What are these glasses for? Just put them on, man. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! Now you know how I feel. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. Hmm, almost like real glasses. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. You know, it's that's a really suspicious character. All things, con things considered. He can teleport you out of a world, he knows, supposedly knows a lot about it, and he can summon weird items like the glasses and the TVs. What exactly is he? Is he a shadow? Is he an enemy? Is he just confused about his role? Or maybe he is behind all of this, and he just doesn't know it yet. Or maybe he's hiding it. So many things. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. And he doesn't directly interact with anybody. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Fair point. Uh uh, no way. I've got no muscles. But how did he survive? I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. That'll help a lot. How's that sound? Horrible. Can Teddy really not fight? Yeah, I love this. I gotta do this. Boink. <laughs> no! <laughs> Is this thing for real? This is hilarious. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Sure. Who's this Saki Senpai person? Is someone you know? No, we just name no names of random people we don't know. <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. You should help him up, though. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! <laughs> he's like a turtle. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious? If he's the last boss. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I don't know what to do! <coughs> uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? Yeah, that's a fair point. Are we walking into a trap? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! Yeah, you can trust those eyes. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know, I'd get in your way. Oh my god, look at this, you can't be any more suspicious. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. This is our shopping district. We're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it. 
This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? Is that Jack Frost all right? One of the vending machine. What could have happened? Wait a second, they're here! Shadows. What? Shadows. Shadows? I had a feeling they were going to attack. But anyway, how do you know? Hey. That's a famous smile if I've seen one. They get chills. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. No sheds. I can tell this one has a weakness too. No shed. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Oh, I thought weakness is something else entirely. Try stuff out and see what works. Ah, thank you, Captain Obvious. When you use an attack of enemy, his weak against it will be knocked down. Once knocked down, the enemy will be vulnerable, so you can act it again. Uh, yeah. However, if the enemy exploits your weakness, it will be able to attack it again as well. Keep an eye on both Shadow's weaknesses and your own. <coughs> yeah, so we're weak to electricity, I remember that. So, I gotta say one thing. I know. Because it's a supporting character, and according to this tutorial, it actually said characters. Which means there's probably gonna be a switch, just like the last game. Actually, now that I think about it, Persona 3 Portable is after that game, so. I mean, chronology wise, it's before, I guess. Anyway, one thing Persona could go for it is the enemy design. I mean, how many games c have you seen which got something like this? Maybe they got some weird enemies at some point. But... Persona always has those weird, crazy things. I really like that about it. You did it yeah, I gotta level up. You hit points and blah blah blah, you're now able to blah blah blah, 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 blah blah. Blah. What's up, buddy? Josh Moe has faced his other self. He has obtained a facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona is an Aggie. Whoa, what was that? Didn't you hear? Persona did. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? Magic. I mean, what did you do? Magic. <laughs> hey, you think I can do it too? Soon. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Yep. That's what 
I thought this is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, <laughs> you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> it's funny how he just bounces back. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. Pretty useless right now, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi san's daughter is working there. Konishi san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard your sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. For the enemy. God. What a troublesome child. Hey. Hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So... Does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what exactly we were talking about the last, like, five sentences. Again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? He sounds familiar. You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! I... I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? You can clearly hear, but it's not her, that's her dad. What? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of a photo shows Saki Kanishi smiling. Yasuki is standing next to her. I... never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. That sounds funny, but it's actually gonna get dramatic after this. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. A pain in the ass? I'm pretty sure she said dick. About Juness, anyway. Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. Oh, she is. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two 
Well, one is glowing, so there's a obvious difference. Who are you? Guess. I wouldn't think that. Yes, you would. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Now, that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? Seems pretty reasonable. A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? Yes! <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Teddy looks so upset, it is kind of adorable. Quite a while, this is the lowest difficulty. This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Rather or not. During battle you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from a battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weaknesses and status ailment, the attacks can be blocked. Be careful for you will leave with defensive stands after you've been after being hit once. Basically, I'm supposed to figure out when he attacks with the thing which I'm weak against. And only defend then. Probably gonna be like every third attack or something like that. Yeah, I keep spoiling that. Doink! That's not gonna work. I don't know, it seems to be working. Okay. There we go. One more. No, I did have health. That's not gonna work. <laughs> you little pussy. Uh, what if I also did? 
Oh, I see. Fancy. Okay, so block right when he blocks. I see. Okay, that's how it is. So I was curious: is he a wacky, wacky uh, inflatable hand waving? Shit. Uh, yeah, that, there's a good uh, Family Guy thing. Wacky inflatable hand waving tube man? Is that it? No, I think there's a, bit, a few more words. Damn it. No, no. He swiped me. And... No, not lethal yet. How about now? Ah, damn, I love a variety of designs. How often do you see enemies like this? In other games. It usually works with some humanoids or some other crap. This is some crazy shit. Hit points, blah blah blah, you know, plus on that, blah blah blah, something inside you, then I get leveled up. Strength increased. Oh, by two? Oh, it was one last time. Akunda, alright, good. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's a defense spell. Yo, Yosuke, what's up? I, I... I'm Batman. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You went ape shit. You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it. Or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself, you Oh! Okay, hold up. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be... Let's save... You're still yourself, you have to be brave, everyone's the same inside. Uh, let's go to this one. Supposed to be comforting. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. Okay, I don't think that was a good option. Try again. <laughs> okay. You have to bring it still yourself to go with that. Myself. Damn it. it hurts to face Damn, no stat boost. Okay, let's try it. Oops. I accidentally closed it. Okay, let's go with you have to be brave. Brave. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. God damn it, there's no stat boost again. Ugh. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been ma made manifest. I prefer his previous design. Yes, he has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships with Persona Jiraiya. Persona? Persona. <clears throat> when we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. Maybe not even that deep. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? Yep. What a way to find out. Oops, I skipped it. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. If I wasn't here, you wouldn't be here because you can't get in here without me. Couldn't at least. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? 
Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Or investigate it a little bit more. Maybe we get some can get some items. No, okay. No choices. <sighs> hey Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is... Did those places form because of the people who entered this world? Probably. I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. So the same for them, for this world killed them. Uh, let's go with this one, I guess. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Yeah, you sure helped a lot. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. <coughs> Someone could have just let them out. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? It seems to be the case. We need to find the culprit. Might as well try. That seems to be the case. Anyways. We need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Uh, um, it, can I ask something too? What is it? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? That is a good question. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? And that's a fair answer. I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Sure. Really? Yep. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. What if someone buys me TV? From the same place? Me TV at Juness? He doesn't know anything about Juness, so let's not say that. 
you could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Still don't know how he does that. Any employees milling around out there? Oh, you just get shoved in. Okay, go, go, go! Squish. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little. Uh. I remember him saying he doesn't have any muscles, and yet somehow he pushes us in. Hmm. Hey, Chia. What's up? <laughs> you guys came back! <laughs> huh? Chia? Whoa, what's with that face? She was worried, you dumbass. Hey, blame him. I can't believe this. You guys suck. What did I do? You didn't even give me the rope. The got cut off and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. I mean, scared stiff, damn it. I hate you both. Uh, I love you too. Might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Psh, you do. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. That does sound like a good time. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Hmm. On Saturday? I don't know. It's Friday, right? Near the floodplain while walking home from school. Yeah, what's up, Yukiko? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. What kind of errand is that? Are you the part-time geisha? Delivery geisha? Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yeah, somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba. So, I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. There's someone who did. It sucks. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... They're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. What kind of screwed up management is that? Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Jeez, rely on the young schoolgirl to manage your inn. There's definitely something very wrong with your place. Dad's late. As always. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba.
Around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. That you need three murders for a serial killer, though. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Can you actually pinpoint it to 1 a.m. when the humidity is so high with fog is heavy? Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Can help? I worried about him. Uh, I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. All right. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure thing. Nanako seems to be very re reliable for her age. Yeah, like I said, she's a little girl, but she's doing laundry, cooking. Seriously, way too much for a little girl. She needs help. Amagi Inn. Located upstream of Samegawa River is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium. Hmm. Is... is that okay? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Way too early. Yukiko's on TV, wearing the kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Is that the creepy reporter from the last time? Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. What a creep. And that's me saying that. Huh? No, um... Reporters rambling goes further and further off the subject. <laughs> yeah, you've got the right idea. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by pressing the triangle button, which is the wrong color for some reason. It's supposed to be green.